Vanessa Cox, V-A-N-E-S-S-A-C-O-X. I am a senior at Hastings College. I'm a studio art major. And so right now I am in the thesis program. My thesis project is actually pretty much all insects. I am working with food supply issues. Um, not to shove a bunch of facts down your throat, but basically in the next 50 years, we're all gonna die of water deprivation if we don't change our eating habits. Um, and one of the most obvious answers to that is eating insects. Uh, personally, I have not tried it, but I'm kind of trying to convince myself as well as the people around me that it would be okay. And so what I'm doing is making these different desserts and um, right now they're just clay, but eventually each one of those dots will be a cockroach. Um, so that's what those cockroaches are for at my house. <laughs> they're all gonna die. <laughs> Once they reach their next size, they just break out of this little hole right here where I stabbed my toothpick through, and they crawl out. And then it's left with this empty shell. Hmm. I guess I kind of find death and fear uh, to be a fascinating subject for me. A lot of people are afraid of death and a lot of people are afraid of insects. So um, I try to take that fear that lots of people are experiencing and transform it into something that's a little bit easier to look at and maybe a little bit easier to understand. Bones, I usually just ask around. I have a lot of friends that either work on ranches or know people that work on ranches. Um, so, you know, they have bones all over the place. I do kind of process my own. So finding roadkill as long as it hasn't been there for too long, I can process that and clean my own bones. Um, it's pretty gross. Bugs, I just order them off of like reptile websites. So they're just feeder insects. I'm also in advanced painting where I can do an independent study of whatever paint medium I'd like to. So I'm working in watercolors. I also think uh, it's really incredible how many different ways there are to express yourself through art, um, not just through different mediums, but the way you uh, create it to look a certain way or to not look a certain way. It's really great trying to figure out uh, which path a certain piece will take you or which direction you want to take it. And a lot of times it doesn't go the way you plan it out at first. It generally turns out quite a bit differently. kid my main thing that I decided was going to be yes I'll be an artist um, I sent in 12 different pictures to cat fancy magazine <laughs> and one of them was chosen and so I was like okay I'm good at this this is something that I like and something that apparently other people like so I'll keep going here I am not drawing cats anymore unless they're dead ones By the end of the year, I'll have my own show, so hopefully I can sell some pieces and get it a little bit farther than my living room. I, I guess I feel like it's a way for me to express everything that's on the inside. I feel that I tend to think a little bit differently than most people, and so it's a way to get all of those thoughts 
you know, kind of out on paper, literally. 